Hello everybody, so today we're going to kick off my review of Chanel and Teos with a genuine live singing clip of me in Lanzarote last year in October and this is my attempt to impersonate Elvis Presley singing Always On My Mind. Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Smelly's Fragrance Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about what may be my favourite Chanel fragrance and that is Antaeus from the House of Chanel. This is a fantastic old school fragrance released in 1981. The perfume here is Jack Polge. Uh, I believe it's been reformulated probably several times. So the one I've got is a very modern version and uh, it, uh, people say the old one uh, is a lot different and that this one isn't quite as good. As they often say with reformulations, I can't judge because I've never smelled the old one, unfortunately, but I really like the one that we can buy now. So I'm going to be talking about that. So what is so interesting and special about this fragrance? So when we look at it, it's it's down in the bottom corner of your local fragrance place where they sell Chanel. Usually it's not the one that the people in the fragrance stores are pushing from Chanel. Uh, they want you to buy things like Bleu de Chanel. Uh, they think that you, you probably want maybe one of the Allure line from Chanel, all of which are, are pretty good in their own ways. But this one is uh, unjustly underrated, I think, uh, in, amongst people in general, and even in the fragrance community. We don't hear tons about it. Some people do videos occasionally. So I've just sprayed some and I'm just really enjoying that experience of inhaling those, those vapors again. So this scent is a little bit like things like Koros from Yves Saint Laurent, but for me it's a slightly more classy version of those. Uh, the fragrance opens up with some lemon, lime, coriander, there's myrtle, clary sage, and we've got bergamot in there as well. So there's some standard fresh notes, but it's never really one that comes across as citrusy or fresh uh, in, in that kind of citrus freshy way. But there is a little bit of a brightness about the opening, which is very pleasant. Uh, after that, in the mid, we've got things like thyme, basil, rose, and jasmine. So there's some floral notes. There's that uh, very famous Chanel note of jasmine in there. And in the base, we've got patchouli, labdanum, oak moss, and castorium, which is a really animalistic note that has an almost uh, a kind of dirty, almost body odorish tone to it some people say so this is one of those old-fashioned scents where they have harnessed some of those really masculine smells perhaps uh, smells we associate with humans nat natural sexual odors if i can talk about that but they've harnessed those in a way that is appealing or is supposed to be appealing uh, in a fragrance but that's something that is less common in modern fragrances where they tend to go for more obviously appealing sweet notes or simple fresh ones so for today's market this one is going to be not the typical kind of fragrance that men are usually looking for or usually thinking that they should be wearing if they want to appeal to other people but for me what I get out of this is a tremendous earthiness and um, some really great aromatics so you get really nice resinous notes there's herbs in there uh, the things like the basil and the thyme I think are combining to give you a really sensuous aromatic experience and in the base there I think that patchouli and the oak moss and the castorium I'll be honest I, I know what patchouli smells like but as for castorium I couldn't identify that note but what you get is this really uh, 
ballsy masculine feel but somehow because it's this uh, it's by Chanel who I think really are one of the most classy designer houses it never gets dirty in the way that perhaps Coros by Yves Saint Laurent has a somewhat dirty and uh, perhaps uh, less widely appealing or less classy feel I think Lex Ellis did a review where he said that Coros is like Arnold Sch Schwarzenegger with his shirt off uh, but Antaeus is Arnold Schwarzenegger in a suit and that's a good way of looking at it. It's really masculine, but there's something a little bit refined and classy. So if you're looking for a powerhouse fragrance that you can wear in the modern era, I think Antaeus could be the one that you should be looking at. So things like Bleu de Chanel um, are the mainstays of the Chanel men's line. If you're looking for an old school one, you might come to Chanel Pour Monsieur, Pour Monsieur, excuse me, before you look at this one. But don't ignore this one. It's great for cold weather. It's uh, suggestive that you should be dressed up a little bit. I wouldn't wear it in a casual setting too often, uh, except maybe just for my own enjoyment at home. It's a great nighttime scent. For dates and things like that, it's uh, probably not a very safe bet at all. It is for a mature gentleman. It's for fragrance connoisseurs. If you think ladies are going to like it, then you might be disappointed. Most of them wouldn't pick it out uh, as one of their favourite fragrances. However, if you meet the right lady who's into old school fragrances, she might really appreciate this one. Uh, and I think you're going to make a statement that you don't follow the herd when you wear this fragrance, that you're your you're own person and you've thought about how you want to present yourself. Other great reviews on this one include Lania Smith's one, uh, and he is one of my favourite reviewers, someone if you haven't stumbled across his channel, please check him out because he does fantastic reviews of old school classic scents and he also re reviews a lot of the new stuff that comes out and I've learned so much from his uh, channel and it was indeed his review that turned me on to this one amongst a couple of other great reviews that I've read and watched online. So, to summarise, Chanel and Tess, what is this fragrance all about? It's a 1980s powerhouse classic that still smells good today. They've probably toned it down a little bit for what you had in the 80s when people first started to wear it, but it may not be a bad thing because what I get is about as heavy, about as masculine and about as daring in this style as I really want to go in a scent that I'm going to wear. I've reviewed things like uh, Lapidus Pour Homme and I've mentioned uh, the old formula of Chorus in my videos. They are great scents, great works of art, but I don't really reach for them. This one, I'm totally happy to wear this on nights out. Uh, I'm not sure it will be the most popular with everyone around me, but I find that it really suits me. I'm coming up to 40, and I'm looking forward to wearing it more and more as I mature. So check out Chanel Antaeus. Recommendability rating on this one? Mm, only maybe about a 7 out of 10, because a lot of people won't take to it. My personal rating, how much I like it, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's a, a classic, still on the shelves for a reason. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried Chanel and Teos? What do you think of it? And remember, you can still vote for my League Table video if you want in this, and there'll be a, an update coming up soon. So thanks for watching. See you soon, and remember, whatever we're doing in life, let's project.